welcome to this uh, latest video. Um, now, I use emulators um, quite a lot, especially when I'm doing uh, my arc Arcade Perfect uh, videos because I tend to obviously look at quite a lot of different systems. Now, the software I use is called Gamebase. I think I've probably mentioned it a couple of times. Um, a few people have actually asked me about it, you know, so I thought to myself, why don't I make a little video of A, in action, and B, the kind of, a, a kind of beginner's guide to using Gamebase. So this video is going to be purely letting you see what it is. Um, if anybody then wants to sort of get further instructions about how to set it up, etc., then I'm quite happy to make another video. So yeah, this is Gamebase. Now, what the way, I'll, I'll explain the history slightly. Gamebase was a piece of software which was written um, by a group of people primarily for the Commodore 64. Now Gamebase is not an emulator, it is purely a database of games and files etc. Um, and emulators... Oh, bugger off. Keep the current scheme, sorry about that guys. Um, yep, yeah, it's purely a front end for emulators. It basically means or it makes emulators a point and click exercise, which is absolutely excellent. Now, this thing here you can see here, these are all the game bases that I've actually got set up. I don't know what's going on here, I do apologise. It's because this is trying to run in different colours. Piss off. Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah, this is this is my main game base screen here. Now you can see along Along here you've got the various systems, you've got Acorn Atom, Acorn Mania, Adventure Vision, all the different systems, Amstrad, Amstrad Mania. Now these are all individual game bases, um, but they're all launched from this uh, one single front end. Um, th basically, I mean, you can download game base, but to actually get, you need to then... Game base is just purely the front end. You need to either a make your own, add in files, etc. Which I can I can certainly talk to you about it in the next video. Um, but these are game bases that I've actually downloaded. Um, there used to be a wonderful site called Underground Gamer. It was a private uh, torrent site um, which purely held files that were no longer made. So I mean they had a strict policy about uh, you know you couldn't host any games files for live systems. So it was completely, well, I say kosher, it's not kosher, I mean at the end of the day it was hosting, hosting ROMs, but um, it was a wonderful torrent site um, and very, very clever people used to put together all these game bases for the different systems um, and made them available for downloading, including all the ROMs, etc, etc. But unfortunately, because uh, because this uh, underground torrent site happened to host a FIFA 96 game for the Mega Drive, they had an order to take the site down. But anyway, I'm completely digressing. So this is game base. You can see here, these are all the systems that I've got set up. Now what I'll do is I'll let you, let's go into Amstrad Mania. You basically click on it. And you'll see here, this is the main game base screen. And what it has here is, in the middle are all the different games all the various games etc. Now each of these has got to be physically added so the game base itself doesn't come with these things. And you can see there all the different games so I mean 1942, boom, there's 1942. So to load a game what you need, to, I mean what you've actually got is you've got multiple emulators set up for, the, for this thing but to load a game it's literally as simple as picking the game you want and hitting play game. And that should, hopefully, you get this little error, I don't know what the hell it's talking about. You can see here it's now loading the emulator. It's now typing in the command, run 1942, don't speak French, thank you very much. So there we go, that's now running 1942, close it down and we can move on to something else. Let's see, Sorcery. Sorcery Plus, again you can, 
these clever people who've put these game bases together, you can see there you've got the, uh, the screenshots. You've also got, there's various things you can play game. Now, play music, I don't know if music's been set up for this one. Um, there's e If you click on the extras button, you'll see here, you've got the original disc. Oh, we don't want to run that just now, that's trying to run that. Extras, you've got the cover. There we go, there's the cover of Sorcery. You have got the manual. Is it going to load it? Right, okay, you're only getting... <laughs> right, okay, there's there's the manual there, you can see there. So, I mean, effectively this game base is just a front end and it just pulls in information. Map, here we go. The, all these different things have got to be set up individually. There we go, there's a map of sorcery. I mean, it's a fantastic thing. So, want to play sorcery? You can, if you right click play game, you've got the option to use these different emulators. The one at the top is the one that's off, it defaults to. But it's a fantastic piece of software. It really is. It just makes, it makes playing emulators really, really joyful because you're not having to fanny about and load up the emulator and type in commands and that kind of stuff. So you can see there, it's now going to load Sorcery. It's probably loading as we speak. Yep, there we go. Turn that down a little bit. Close the emulator. Now, supposing, so this is Amstrad, if I want to jump to, see the Commodore 64, I just click on Game Base. And I come down to C64. Now this this was the the system that GameBase was written for, but other people have adapted it for other systems. Now this the C64 in particular, it's been written and put together by a lot of different people, and it's just an incredible piece of work. How do we bring this across? That's only doing that. I don't know how do how do we get that brought across. I don't know. I want to be able to bring that across. You got that there. I don't know why. And it doesn't matter. Um, yep, so you can see there. Yeah, come on, we won't need to be able to expand this a wee bit. It doesn't want to play ball, obviously. I don't want that. Don't know why it's not letting me. Uh... That's a bit better. Yep. Yeah, anyway, so you can see here, you've got all the different games. Now down here, you can see here it says all games. This. Game base for the Commodore 64 has got 20,001 games. A lot of these are like type in games and they're different versions of the same game. If it was released in the UK, it's something different. Like, uh, I mean, for example, if we go to what's it called? Is it Afterburner? You can type in Aft Afterburner. That came out in different versions. So there's Afterburner. You've got the information down the bottom. It says here published by Activision. And you can, you've got one down here, the next Afterburner published by Sega. So it gives you all the information, published, developer, coding, etc. If I want to play the, the SID tune, press the left mouse button. And I get the music. There we go, you get the music. Extras for Afterburner. Original, we've got the cover. Let's have a look at the cover for it. There we go. Now, supposing I want to look at games that were made by Ocean, you can go up to Tools. Uh, 
let's have a look where is it view let's add views add view quick filter yep there we go quick filter so if I want to look at games by ocean software publisher ocean bang there we go it's saying here there's 115 you can see here Adam's family Armageddon bangers and mash barmy burgers this is showing you all the different games that have been made by Ocean. You know, your screenshots, in-game shots, fantastic. Want to play the Sid tune for Dale Thompson's Decathlon? Click on that, there we go. Uh, let's come back, I'll remove the view and that puts us back to 20,001 games again. Um, so again, if I want to play a game, just if I want to run it with the built-in the the first emulator, it's you can just press the left mouse button. Disable fast loader. Thank you very much. It's a pain there. So these different bloody options that they've given, uh, given you. And this is obviously just loading the game. But like I, I stress, the, the game base is purely a front end. All the ROMs, the screenshots, these are all separate things. Um, which you've either got to do yourself or else try and acquire from your favourite torrent site. Because uh, these are big, big files. I mean, you can see there, there's 20,000 games. That's a lot of information to put in. Anyway, listen, that's a uh, loading it, that's emulator. I'm not going to bore too much about that. So, yep, I mean, you can just, you can if you want to go into a... Uh, Let's see, view, quick filter, if you want to, is it programmer? Let's look at Jeff Minter. Jeff, let's have a look for Jeff. Now there's 112 games programmed by Jeff, but we want to be more specific, so we shall go to, we'll call it, Jeff Minter. There we go. It's saying Jeff Minter has got 35 games that he's written. You can either double click in the game or you can click on play game. I mean, it's such a, a flexible uh, interface. Well, so we're waiting for that to load. We can click on extras. Now we can load the original tape. We can load the original tape, which was on Yak's Progress, which was a compilation. Let's look at the cover. There we go. Cover from Mutant Camels. We can look at an advert. There she is there. I mean, it's such a, a absolutely awesome piece of software. There's another advert. Cover for Yak's Progress, there we go, that was the compilation. Let's jump back to the emulator, so there we go, press spacebar I think. And a game, obviously if a game doesn't work, it's got bugger all to do with game base. That's the thing you need to understand, it's a... Uh, oh, come on, how do we get past all this shit? There we go. I love this game, absolutely love it to bits. Right, I'm not going to listen to music because I could listen to it all day. So yeah, that's the Commodore 64 one. That is probably the most comprehensive one. Um, you know, you can just click on... Click on that. You can click on that, click on that, that's an awesome piece of software. 
Yep, so let's go back and we'll take off the filter view, remove view, we're back to 20,000. So let's go back up to game base. We can come down to, let's see, Amstrad, Atari 2600. Again, it's obviously not quite as comprehensive. But you've got all your, let's see, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, let's play the game. There we are. Let's see what extras have we got. We've got the manual. Let's have a look at the manual for Pac-Man. I mean, it's basically an archive of everything related to these systems. The box. Let's have a look at the box. <laughs> there you go. So yep, yeah, what other ones have I got? What other ones don't I have? Atari 7800. Some of the more obscure systems you find that there's, there's all you've got is a game and probably a screenshot. Let's commando, let's have a look at that. You can obviously make that bigger and you'll get two screenshots. Is there any more? There you go, there's different, you can see there. Boom. I mean, it's just awesome. It really is awesome. You've got all this information. There's the actual cassette itself for the cartridge. Play game. Yep, so we've got that one. Let's see, Atari 800. Atari 800 is an excellent one. You can see their version 11. So it's very comprehensive again. Let's look at Drop Zone. Now, what, whoever's put this together, you can actually class a game as a favourite and it makes a little noise. Um, drop Zone, it's kind of in bold as well. So let's see, extras for Drop Zone. We've got the, the cover. We've got the manual. Need to zoom in a wee bit to see that one, I think. How do we zoom in? Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. Right, back out a wee bit. Oh, back in again. There you go. It is the year 2085. My goodness, we'll, we'll soon be there. So, yep, there's instructions for drop zone. Um. Let's have a look. C64, Coleco Vision. I mean, so starting at the top, you've got Acorn Atom. You've got the Acorn Mania, which I think is BBC. There's even things like this. This is quite a bizarre one. Adventure Vision was actually LCD handhelds. Now, there's only actually four in this, but somebody's actually made a... made a... a game base for it, which seems a bit OTT. All right, okay, it's trying to run an emulator, which I don't appear to have. So that's not a good example. Um, Amstrad Apple II. Nope. Apple II, here we go. What kind of stuff have we got here? Ar Arkanoid, play game. Don't think I ever actually ran this emulator. Oh, okay, my virus killer is now trying to, to look at it. Is it even going to run? No. Oh, hang on. What are we getting? Needs ROM, blah, blah, blah. Right, okay, I'll need to see my dealer for a ROM upgrade. Right, fair enough. But again, that isn't a, an issue with game base. That's an issue with the actual emulator I'm trying to run. Apple II. Archimedes. Um, Elite. Let's see this one. Let's play a game. What's happening? Are we bad parameters? This is me now in the emulator. Elite. Is it that we run? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There is Elite on the Acorn Archimedes. This is apparently an excellent version. Anyway, I'm not here to play the games. Right, who do we get out of this? Press Control and End to release mouse. Control and End to release the mouse. Thank you very much for releasing my mouse. Uh, Acorn, Archimedes, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Astrocade. Uh, can't find it. Atari ST. Let's have a quick look at Atari ST. I mean, you can see there, guys, all the systems are there. I want to run Operation Wolf. Just double click. What's it coming up in error there? Found an archive. Expected file not found an archive. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Okay, we're now getting a, a game loading, I think. T for trainer, let's go for trainer. Is that sound playing a bit too quick? <laughs> now somebody actually mentioned to me that my outrun on the ST was playing a bit too quick and you know what, I think they're probably right. Right, anyway, let's come out with that. I'll need to adjust that one. But yeah, you can see there we have got... We've got the Atari ST. So what else have we got? BBC Micro. Now the question you're going to be asking guys is where do I get these game bases? That's the tough part. Um, I mean let me have a quick look at my folder. Um, emulators, game base. My game base folder which has got all these systems in. You can see here, this is just my game base folder. You can see here the size of the folder. It's probably 100 gig. It's massive, absolutely massive. Because what you need to remember is all these systems, all the ROMs, etc. So I'm not going to bother with that. So, yep, you've got the BBC, we have got that is T Commodore 128. Let's have a quick wee look at that one. These are all the various uh, Commodore 128s. Never actually tried this. There wasn't that many games written for them. So this is the Commodore 128 Alley Cat. High score, these things are annoying. Reset, high score, yep. So there we go, we're now running the Commodore 128. I've not got a joystick plugged in, obviously, but yep. So we've got one two eight. Where are we? Commodore one two eight. Got C sixty four. Coleco Vision demo base. These are basically demos for the C sixty four. The Enterprise, which is an old system. Game base Amiga. Game base GX four thousand, which was an Amstrad. Game Boy. Game Boy Color. Acorn Electron. Game Boy Lynx. Um, handheld. These are these be bizarre handheld things like so. Game and Watch. So let's let's try Chicky Wogger. Oh yep. Donkey Kong, let's try the Donkey Kong. Select sound mode. Direct sound. Play. Switch it on. <laughs> St 
start the game. I don't know how you use control to start. Where's the control button? Okay, so we that's just now started the game. Anyway, how do we come out? Exit. Oh, it's crashed. You can bugger off. Yep, so I mean you've even got real obscure things like that. You've got the Intellivision, you've got the Sega Master System, you've got the MSX1, MSX2, got the N64, Neo Geo Color Pocket, NES, Odyssey, Auric, Plus One, Sega Genesis. I mean, they're all there. Again, we want to uh, outrun. Let's look at the extras. We've got the manual. There's a manual for Outrun. So yep, anyway listen, I think this video has gone on long enough. I hope this has given you a kind of brief overview of what Game Base is all about and just kind of how powerful it actually is. Um, please uh, ping your comments if you want me to make a video on sort of a kind of a newbie's guide to setting this up. Um, it does look, a lot of people when they, when they hear the word Game Base they run a thousand miles because it can get a bit complicated, but if you follow it step by step, it should be fairly simple. Um, so, anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope you found it quite informative. And like I said, if you want any more information, please ping the, uh, ping the comments into the comments section and I'll see what I can do. And as usual guys, I appreciate you watching.